Oh, good afternoon. I just thought I'd um, uh, follow up the um, series of videos that I uh, put out on YouTube uh, about a year ago, uh, all to do with lime mortar, lime plastering and harling. Uh, about this time last year I did this lime harling uh, of the back wall of my house. It's just to remind you it's a, a clay cob construction on the back here, just this little section. Um, and um, suffering with damp, uh, it was previously covered with a, a, a cement render which had cracked and moisture was getting in behind it making the interior walls somewhat damp um, so I took all the um, cement render off and eventually put two coats of this lime harling on Anyway, I've got round to finally um, doing the whitewashing, so I just thought I'd share with you the process that I'm following to uh, whitewash the walls, and then that'll be the finish of it. So let's go to the shed, uh, and we'll have a look at how, uh, it's quite a remarkable process, but how the uh, lime wash is made. So meanwhile, back at the shed, I've got half a bucket of uh, cleanish water, in a metal bucket um, and I've got a tub of um, powdered lime from the kiln uh, bought this from a local supplier and um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to slake the lime we're going to add the powder into the water and then um, make the whitewash basically I think reading up on the internet there are some other additives that you can put in here I saw a guy putting in some um, tallow, I think it was, to try and, uh, I, I guess, with an attempt to making the um, the whitewash, the lime wash, more um, water resistant. Anyway, this is quite a dramatic process. <laughs> Just uh, sit back and watch this. I'm gonna, I'm wearing PPE. I've got uh, rubber gloves and I've got uh, eye protection. Definitely don't want to get any of this onto your skin. So you can hear it starting to bubble a bit. I'm just going to make sure that uh, what I've got in there is stirred up. I think you've got to put enough in to make it boil so that you complete the kind of chemical reaction. I'm just making sure that it's evenly kind of distributed through the water. Some heat generated now. I can't really see what I'm doing because my goggles are completely fogged up. Alright, I'm just going to give it one last stir and stand back. Oi, oi, oi. Move this out of the way a bit. That is definitely, definitely an exothermic reaction. This side of the... Ouch! <laughs> you can see why we need a metal bucket. It is really seriously hot. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for now. And... Uh, go and have a cup of tea and then come back uh, once it's settled a bit. Find a place where you don't mind making a bit of a mess. Right, so this is what uh, we're left with after that uh, chemical reaction. You might correct me here, but I think what I've got now is essentially a lime putty. Uh, it's still very hot. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to leave it for a little while and uh, just add water to it until it becomes... Uh, the right consistency for painting on the wall. So, 
there we go that's the lime slaked and um, I'm going to leave it for a bit and then paint so this is the uh, bucket full of lime that I uh, slaked yesterday afternoon and I've just decanted a small proportion into this bucket here and I'm going to uh, make the white wash by adding some clean water uh, just to make it into a kind of paint consistency uh, then I'll apply it to the wall So just by way of a little disclaimer here, please be aware that everything I'm doing here is based on my own reading and understanding of working with lime. Uh, please uh, do due diligence and check up for yourselves how to go about this process. So while I'm doing this I've pre-wetted the wall with a spray in an effort to uh, reduce reduce suction if you if you apply this to the dry wall surface it cracks up really quickly I'm finding so I've sprayed the wall with water and I'll give it another go when I go around there and then I'll start brushing this in That's, uh, that's the consistency that I'm going with at the moment. Like a, I suppose like a masonry paint type of thickness. Maybe a bit thinner in this case. Right, we'll go and, we'll go and apply that. So I think you can see where I've done up to. I've just kept to the top of the windows and just uh, down to that section so I've, I've damped the wall off here you can see the line and uh, I've got all my kit ready uh, waterproof gloves, goggles spray mister bottle and uh, I'm going to try using this uh, this block brush because I'm noticing that because I used a really coarse harling render, I'm not really getting into the um, not really getting into the depth of the uh, of the mortar in some parts. As you can see as well, it's it sort of cracks a bit. I guess I'm not too bothered about that as long as it doesn't fall off, which it doesn't seem to be doing. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's certainly working. As a, as a paint cover that is so I've got all of this bit to do here than I used yesterday uh, see if this is any more successful it's filling a lot more of the voids easier anyway just make a bit of a mess you'll notice I've got uh, I've started at the time when the sun's off the wall so I'm working in the shade now. So I believe it goes on and it sort of looks a little bit opaque. But then as it dries, it turns into uh, the sort of solid white colour.
Okay, well there we go. That's my take on um, making whitewash or lime wash from um, the burnt lime, uh, which I got from uh, a local supplier. I uh, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And um, see you in the next one. If you've got any questions or queries, comments, please leave them in the space below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.